Hello, my magical rainbow. Today it's a special treat. But before we start in with a treat, with a special book, I would like that we will sing together. Today we are together. And so I will point the, name, the person and you will help me to sing their name. Are we ready? We'll start from here. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, uh, sitting at our home. There is El and Sasha and Lila and Aidan. Here we are together, uh, sitting at our home. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, uh, sitting at our home. There's Henrik and Harrison and Natty and Everett. Here we are together, uh, sitting at our home. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, uh, sitting at our home. There's Ella and Eva and Sagey and Evela. Here we are together, uh, sitting at our home. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, are sitting at our home. There is Sergio and Amanda and Jane and, and Emmy. Here we are together, are sitting at our home. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, are sitting at our home. There is Cecily and Kelly and all of the rainbow. Here we are together, are uh, sitting at our home. So, my rainbow, you know, to make our class such a special, dreamy place, we need a lot of help from your parents. And one parent, Elizabeth, Eva's mom, she made a special book about our room. And I am going to read this book to you. Maybe you already saw this book. Maybe it's the first time, but this, this book is about us. And the name of the book is Once Upon a Time in the Rainbow Room, Preschool of the Arts, 2019-2020. You see all, all your picture here? And you look so young here. It's when you, we just started. And it was the first day that Cecily came to our school. This is why she's standing with her mom. It was before she knew us. Okay, let's start once upon a time. Once upon a time, a special group of children and teachers met at a very special school. Can you guess what school it is? Let's see, let's see. Preschool of the Arts. From the very beginning, the children learned magic with their teacher, for they were good and capable and kind. From the very beginning, they shared their magic with each other in the rainbow room. And from the very beginning, they practice how to make their magic stronger by singing and dancing and making music. By creating art and baking and reading books, by playing and sharing, by riding bikes and going on a long walks and exploring the land of, and the city. And by listening and breathing and being mindful. In the summer's last days, they share their magic in the school gardens. During the fall, they shared it with the 
farm animal on the land outside. And in the warm places inside the special school. During the winter, they show the magic on the snow covered school playground. And during the last winter days, they pointed towards spring. They share the magic more widely with the city around them. But then the winter stretch again. And to be safe, the children stay at home with their families, like insects in a cocoon. The children miss each other and their teacher and their special school. They knew from all their practice that they were good and capable and kind. And they knew they could use their magic to help their families at home. They know how to sing and dance and make music and to create art and bake and read books and to play and share. They know how to ride bikes and go on the long walks and explore the land and city around them. And they know how to listen and breathe and be mindful. So they help their families to learn these things and to be good and capable and kind. And they know as the spring unfold, that magic was still in the world all around and inside them. They would keep it here in their hearts until they could come out of their cocoons. and come back to their special school with their teacher to learn more magic together. And who do you think will be in the end? And here we are again together. Lila and Al and Harrison. Aidan, Seiji, Everett, Ceci, Evela, Eva, Ella, Henik, and Sasha. All of you, my dear. So this book is written by Elizabeth and I hope that if you celebrate Easter, you will have a great day. Bye-bye, lovey.